When you're performing a division operation, then you're likely to run into a divide by zero error when your denominator is a zero. For example, in this test data, we have declared two variables. The numerator is five, the denominator is zero. If we simply try to perform a division, so select add numerator divided by add denominator, we might be running into an error. So we have in, encountered the divide by zero error. How can you bypass this error? So there are certain solutions that you can apply. You can first of all use the case statement. So we are going to see how we can avoid it using a case statement. So our condition is here just to check for the denominator value. So we are just going to say case when at denominator is equal to zero, then we're going to put the result as null. So it will check for denominator equal to zero. If it is zero, then the output will be null. If it is not zero, then it is going to perform this division operation that we want. So in this case, the division operation will be performed only when the denominator is a not zero value. In case it is zero, the output is going to be a null value. So if we execute this, so I'm just going to comment out this. We're going to get the output as null. Now there's another way using an interesting function in SQL Server, which is a null if function. So how we can achieve this using a null if function is, first of all, for that we need to understand what is a null if function. So a null if function, let's see what is a null if function. So let's use null if function, and it expects two arguments. The two arguments, let's just say, one and two. These are the two arguments that we have passed. Let's see what is the output of this statement. So the output is one. So the way null if function works is if your two arguments are equal in value. So if the first argument is equal in value to the second argument, the output is going to be a null value. If it is not equal, then the output is going to be the value from your first argument. So in this particular example, the two values are not equal. So what we've got in the output is the value from the first argument. But if they were equal, so let's make the second argument as one as well. And now let's execute this. The output is going to be null. So this is what we are going to use in our logic. So here, we are going to compare the denominator value to zero. So we are just going to compare the value of zero to a denominator value, which is going to be at denominator. And then, so if the value of zero, of the, if the value of denominator is going to be zero, which is the case, so let's just put it above with our variables. Let's see what is the result going to be. The output is going to be null because the value of denominator is actually zero in our example. So the two values of the two arguments match and therefore the output is null. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to perform a simple division operation that I was performing before. So add numerator divided by null if zero and denominator so this particular condition so if the denominator value is zero it is going to output into a null value then just try it is going to try to divide the numerator which is five by a null value and you're going to get let's see what is the result that you get so that's an interesting thing if you're not already aware you're going to get the result as null because in sql if you divide by null the output is going to be null we can just verify this here so if you divide five let's say by zero then you're going to get a divide by zero error but if you try to divide five by null then you're going to get the output as null and that is what we desire so this is why our case here is going to work using this logic now what say if the denominator is not zero let's make it as one then what is going to be are you going to get the correct output 
So no, we haven't got the correct output. We are again getting the error divide by zero error encountered. So what we need to correct in this query is we're going to we're going to move the zero as the second argument. So I'm going to move it as the second argument because we said that if the values are not equal, it is going to take the value of the first argument. So when the values are not equal, denominator is one and the first argument was zero. It was taking a value of zero, which is going to result in the divide by zero error. But in this case, it is going to get the value of the denominator variable, which is going to be one and we should be expecting the correct result. So again, we are going to execute this query and we get the correct result. Let's change it back to zero and see if we're still getting null as our output. That is what we're getting. So this is a simple, easy way to avoid the divide by zero error in SQL Server.